Hey guys, welcome to another episode of a non dynamo series. Today we're at the Westfield Old Orchard in Skokie, Illinois. Let's take a peek inside. Let's hit the road to Illinois and visit one of Chicago's premier open air shopping centers. It feels good to finally get out and explore after being cooped up inside from the stay at home orders. But still, let's be safe, wearing proper PPE and practice proper social distancing. The mall has been operating for quite some time and as of today it remains a popular shopping destination. It opened in 1956 with Marshall Fields and the Fair Department stores. The fair did not last long and it was quickly renamed to Montgomery Ward in 1964. The Saks Fifth Avenue expanded its store in 1978 and Lord and Taylor was added in 1979. The mall is located 18 miles from the loop right adjacent to the Edens Expressway which connects into the Kennedy Street to downtown. It serves Chicago's affluent North Shore suburbs with average incomes up to $300,000. It has some of the wealthiest zip codes in America with average home prices ranging from $600,000 all the way to $10 million. The mall remained successful all the way up to the 1990s when it saw its first major expansion in 1994, adding 100,000 square feet and 62 new stores. The 1990s was a major evolution for the mall adding several high-profile department stores with the opening of Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's in 1994. Barnes & Noble and Ann Taylor along with Victoria's Secret were added in 1995. With many malls across the country that have seen the closure of one or more of its department stores, and this mall is no exception, is at the beginning of 2000s when its retail industry saw the oversaturation of the department stores that the market couldn't sustain. So at the end of 2017, it was announced that Ann Taylor would be closing. In the entertainment sphere, the mall is referenced by name in Mean Girls. The movie's setting is in a North Shore neighborhood north of the city. However, in the film, the mall is shown as being an enclosed center, where the scenes in the film were filmed in a mall in Toronto, Canada. Water features are quite prevalent around the mall, which gives the landscape an oriental feel with the artificial ponds located here. They're decorated with lily pads, garden sculptures to give the warm, inviting vibe. In 2007, the mall underwent a $50 million expansion and renovation and reopened in late 2007. On October 4, 2008, Zara opened its doors for the first time. Out of all the malls in the north side of Chicago, I really hope this one survives in the long term. Northbrook Court another mall that occupies this area I don't see as one that's gonna last so much longer because a lot of other department stores are closing there
This is one of the many nice features here. The cube, as they call it, is a freestanding glass enclosure at the South Concourse. It serves as a multi-purpose space for exhibitions, promotions, and performances. It's glass on all four sides, which still allows one to feel part of the mall space, but without the din and excitement of the outside world. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And please subscribe and hit the like button and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks guys.